Hello folks, are you ready to learn how to make model-driven applications and utilize Microsoft Dataverse? If so, then I cannot wait to see you in our next Learn with the Nerds session, Model-Driven Apps and Dataverse. My name is Matt Peterson. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer that's been with Pragmatic Works for over five years. And I want to bring you the things that I have learned and the things that I teach others about how to utilize model-driven apps and Dataverse. So if you've ever made a Canvas app before, you know that you have to write formulas to get it to work. Well, here's what's beautiful. We're not going to have to write a single formula. It truly is the no-code side of application development. Now, part of our session is you're going to have some files that you will be importing into your environment. And we've got some pre-created tables and an app already built for you. Once we see what that current functionality is, then we're going to go and learn what else can we do with it. How can we modify a Dataverse table? How can we create them. How can we change the way the app looks in terms of data form entries, a view of our data? And then we're going to get further into it by learning about business rules of how can we make the data dynamic when our users are playing the application. And then finally, we're going to go into looking at uh, the security and how do you share those applications with one another. So we're going to have a lot that's going to be packed into the day. I hope that you're excited. And if you are, make sure to register for that event. And I really look forward to seeing you at our next Learn with the Nerds Model Driven Apps and Dataverse event. Marshall, how you doing? Not bad. How are you doing? Doing all right for a Thursday. We're a Thursday. Uh, Thursday leading into uh, March Madness, getting pretty excited about the basketball tournament. And uh, I'm not sure about where everyone else is tuning in from, but uh, here in Northeast Florida, it is spring and it is gorgeous. Yes, so it is. I'm super excited for the, uh, the great weather. So um, today we're going to do our uh, preview of our Learn with the Nerds that's scheduled for a week from today, or yeah, a week from today, it's uh, next Thursday, and it's uh, model-driven apps in Dataverse. And as we always do, we like to check in with the uh, the instructor and go through some things and make sure folks are prepared to uh, to attend, and also just make sure everyone is uh, familiar with what's going to be covered in the session. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, kick it off. So, uh, first of all, um, the obvious one: uh, what are you going to cover in this session, Matt? Great question. Great question. Uh, so the goal of this session is we are going to be making a model driven app uh, and learning how we use Dataverse in order to make these styles of applications. Now, what's cool about a model driven app uh, for anyone who's going to be joining that's never made one and you've made Canvas apps in the past uh, with a model driven app, when we do the creation development, we're not going to have to write any formulas. Uh, this is truly the no code side of the power platform in terms of app creation. Uh, so they're not necessarily a, as pretty, maybe, as you would think of a Canvas app, because we do have to work with the template. Uh, but because we're utilizing Dataverse, all of uh, the main functionality that we want an app to do, it's going to be already part of it. And so part of what we'll be covering in this class uh, is seeing what the app does out of the box without us doing really any work to it at all. You have an app that is completely functional just by a few little clicks. And then we're going to see what that functionality is and then we're going to go in and then make it even better uh, so part of our making things better is we're going to learn how to modify forms which we use our forms for data creation uh, as well as data editing within the model driven application uh, one of the other things that we'll be working with are what are called views uh, views for my canvas app users are like galleries in a canvas app uh, but in a model driven app to create a view it takes about depending upon how big you want this view of the data to be, but you could really get a view done in under one minute. Uh, now, we can always add a lot more extra features to it, which we will be doing in the course as well. So part of what we'll be covering, and well, there's more to it, but I just want to kind of level set for you, is showing you the, the basic foundational building blocks to make model-driven apps and what they can do. Uh, and we're going to be, you know, putting and sprinkling in a little bit more of the moderate to advanced features as well. 
So we'll be doing, dealing with views, forms. We're also going to learn uh, about things that are called business rules. Uh, this is a server side logic on the Dataverse environment that it will control certain features of data entry within your application. Uh, things like when do I need a field to show up in my form? You know, so if let's uh, say field B, um, if we put in the option of being a Scholar Bowl club, well, if that is equal to Scholar Bowl club, then we want to show field C to put in details that are specific about that. But if in field B, they choose baseball tryouts, or what I'm just coming up with some random stuff here, that they choose baseball tryouts, then we don't need field C to show because it's not related to that entry. So we're going to learn that business rules can do some extra modifications, again, without having to write any formulas. Uh, what I just mentioned there, to do that in a Canvas app, we would have to write formulas to conditionally uh, show or hide fields or make the fields required, not required, and so on. Some of the other things that we'll be covering is security. That's one of the great things with Dataverse is we can secure our data and make different security roles so that when we share our application, which we'll learn how to do in the event as well, when I share it like with Marshall, I might give Marshall the security role for table A that Marshall can see all the records no matter who has made them. But when it comes time to editing or deleting a record, I'm only gonna allow Marshall to edit or delete records that he has created. Now I can share that same app with Chuck and for Chuck, I can give a different security role for table A and I can say, uh, Chuck, I'm going to let you see all the records, but that's it. You can't create, you can't edit, you can't delete. Uh, so we're going to learn about all this different security setup that we can utilize with Dataverse for the model driven app. And one of the other great things about that is the security features that we use with Dataverse. It doesn't just apply to your model driven apps. These would apply to your Canvas apps as well if you are using Dataverse as the data source for those Canvas applications. Uh, we'll have a little bit of, <coughs> excuse me, we'll have a little bit of talk about what are solutions and why are those the best practice to use uh, when you are inside not just Power Apps, but any part of the Power Platform, uh, excluding Power BI. So those are going to be a lot of the big things. We're going to, again, see what they've got we're going to then create more on top of it and we're also going to learn how to create the tables for dataverse how to choose your data types how do we make things required not required um, and i can go on and on about all the other things we're going to be doing but those are going to be our high level uh hitting points there with a pretty cool scenario that i came up with as well to have a little bit of fun that sounds good and i'm glad you're really locking down the security parameters for chuck you got to watch out for that guy yeah you do. all right um, at a high level, um, just, I mean, covering lots of stuff uh, at a high level. Uh, so what are those folks that are attending? What are they going to leave the event with? Yeah, you are going to leave with a great understanding of, first off, if you've never seen a model-driven app, uh, what a model-driven app is um, and what features that come with model-driven apps that you don't get with your Canvas applications. Uh, you're also going to realize how much the user experience has already been pre-planned for you from Microsoft. So we're going to be able to see that we can easily navigate from one record to another record in a completely different table. How we can deactivate records if we don't want to delete them and we want to keep them like for historical purposes. And again, all these things are going to be built into the app without you doing uh, any of the work. And then you're also going to leave with is a model driven app the way I want to go for my scenario? Uh, one of the things that we teach in all of our courses uh, that we do, not just on YouTube, but our courses that we uh, have here at Pragmatic Works is really focusing in on difference between model driven, difference between Canvas, and in which way would you want to go based on your requirements. And I think after you build this model driven app with me, you're going to have a clear definition of going for what I'm trying to do now, this would be better suited for a Canvas app or no, this would be better suited for a model driven app. Uh, and again, for people who've never made a model driven app and they're just Canvas app makers, you are going to be floored by how much less work and time you have to do in order to get a model driven app up and running. So those will be the main things that you'll you'll leave with there. All right. Well, fantastic. Um, a question that we often get from people leading up to a learn with the nerds is what do I need to participate in this session? All right. So. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not doing a Power BI Learn with the Nerds, where all you have to do is download the Power BI application on your desktop and you're up and ready to go. 
Uh, with the Power Platform, excluding Power BI, we do all of our work out on the web. Uh, so one thing that you will need to have is a Power Apps license to start off with uh, that allows you to log in to make.powerapps.com. Uh, now, part of that, just being able to log into Power Apps isn't going to be quite good enough because with the model-driven app, one of the requirements is we have to have our data stored in Dataverse. Uh, now, you might say, not a big deal. I'll just figure out where to get the Dataverse. Well, in terms of Dataverse, uh, from the Microsoft licensing side, you have to have a Power Apps premium license uh, in order to utilize Dataverse. But don't stop me here if you're like, I don't have premium, I'm not going to come to the event because there, there can be some workarounds here. Uh, but we do have to have Dataverse, an environment that has that, uh, and you have to be able to utilize Dataverse in that environment. Uh, and what I mean by that is some uh, users at their organizations, they have an environment with Dataverse, but their admins have put restrictions on them that says, yeah, it's got Dataverse, but we're not going to let you make tables. We're not going to let you make a model-driven app. So when we do the event, we're, the goal is to have you do it in your own environment uh, with your own Power Apps license. Now, one of the things that I'll be setting up with you at the beginning of the event, for those of you who you know, don't have a, an environment that has Dataverse, there is a free environment plan from Microsoft called the Power Apps Developer Plan. Uh, it comes from Microsoft. Uh, it doesn't cost your organization any money. Um, and as part of our course documentation that we send to you when you register for this event, uh, we'll kind of tell you where the link to go to, which I'll also share on the day of the event as well. And what's great about this free environment is one, it's free. Uh, two, it never goes away. So it's with you for the life of you at your company. Uh, and it comes with Dataverse, which is what we will need to make the model-driven application. Uh, so we'll walk through that in the at the beginning of our session, how to sign up for that developer plan. Uh, for all of our people that go to a lot of these Pragmatic Works trainings that you've been with us before, you probably have already had uh, signed up for this before. Uh, now, Again, we're going to try to get you signed up for it. Uh, if it doesn't work, there's nothing we can do on our end. It's on the admin side. Uh, but hopefully you have another environment that does have Dataverse capabilities. And if you do, then and you can create a table in Dataverse, you're going to be able to follow along uh, with me in there. So those are going to be the main requirements. Uh, you'll also get a solution file as well that will go walk through how to import it into your environment. And the reason we're starting off with the solution is to save time. So we're not going to make every single table together. Um, what I've done is uh, you're going to get some pre-created tables with most of what we need. And then we're just going to add a few extra columns in here and there. And that's just going to help save us time and not spend 10 minutes, say, new column, create, new column, create. All right. So those are the big things that you need. All right. And as always, um, those student files that you provide, we will be pinning those to the top of the chat. So if you're watching live, always look at the top of the chat. And yes, this session will be recorded. I know that's another question that we always get. I was going to ask you, Marshall. I it was going to ask you oh, that absolutely. Is it going to be recorded? <laughs> it is going to be recorded. So if uh, Matt goes a little bit too fast for you because he's super smart and really good at this, uh, you can pause it and uh, watch at your own pace. Um, or if after the fact, you can go back and watch it later. So it's going to be up on our YouTube channel uh, forever. So yeah. if, uh, it is being recorded. That's always a important thing to cover now yeah, uh, the, this uh, is the one yep yeah real quick marshall with the pacing just for those of you who come and join the event just to let you all know it will be at a little bit of a, a faster clip speed because it's being recorded uh, but when we do our, our regular private trainings for our customers we really slow it down and we really go deeper more into the why but because we only have a limited time and we didn't want to keep you um, from work all day long it will be at a little bit of a faster pace but just want to let you know our other classes that we do um, that are not these youtube live events we slow it down and we even go a little bit more into the back end of why we're doing what we're doing so just wanted to kind of put that disclaimer out there yeah kind of like when you have to explain to the marketing team how to do stuff you bring it down <laughs> really slow so thank you for doing that uh, so uh, uh, another big question is how do you register for the event? Well, I am qualified to answer that one. So all you have to do is get out your phone, uh, click that uh, QR code right there, and you will register. You can also go to pragmaticworks.com. It's right there on the homepage, how to register and uh, get signed up. We will send you reminders. We'll send you a meeting invite. And uh, again, we will record it. So if you do register and you can't watch it live, you can go back later and watch it. We will send that link to the recording immediately after uh, the Learn With The Nerds is over. Speaking of after the Learn With The Nerds is over, 
Uh, we also do a Q&A. So, um, you know, if you have any questions that we didn't get answered uh, during the event, uh, we will do a Q&A and answer those questions for you. But I think the, the most fun part of the event is uh, we do give away uh, some Learn With Nerd swag. We'll give away some T-shirts. We'll give away some free training. And, um, no, it's always a fun time uh, hanging out with nerds. And this one's exciting because um, a lot of you may have noticed we just moved into our new building. And so we're super stoked to be here. Uh, delivering live Learn With Nerds events uh, from our new office space. Uh, it's going to give us the capability to do lots of neat stuff. And uh, we just appreciate you all being al along for the ride. So, um, again, any uh, final comments for us, Matt, as we uh, prepare to close up? No, other than I'm looking forward to seeing you all next Thursday. We're going to have some fun together. And uh, for those of you who've never made a model-driven app, you're going to have a very robust one built by the end of our session. All right. Well, great stuff. I'm going to close this out with the uh, the sizzle video uh, for this Learn With The Nerds. Uh, Matt, thanks for the time, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday. All right. Sounds great. See you all there.